चलिए दोस्तों शुरू करते हैं विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज अकोमोडेटेड आईजीपी मैट्रिक्स एंड दिस इज एट्रीब्यूट फॉर बीजीपी एंड वी हैव नेटवर्क दिस इज दिस टोपोलॉजी वी हैव टुडे वेयर वी हैव एन टू बीजीपी एस बीजीपी एस 1 बीजीपी एस 2 एंड इन दिस फोर्थ एस वी आर रनिंग द टू डिफरेंट आईजीपी डोमेन इन द एस 1 वी हैव एन आईएसएस स्कोर 1 इन बीजीपी एस 2 वी हैव एन आईएसएस स्कोर 2 डोमेन and we are connecting these two domains with the help of ebgp and we have in these four asdr ad uh, autonomous system border routers which are connecting these two different as so our goal is to get the end to end optimal path when when we trying to send a traffic from the p1 to provider is one to provider is two we want the optimal path so like we know bgp have a different of attribute let's say we have decided to use the med or as path of the attribute in this topology and this kind of topology can be found in the multiple scenario like where we have divided the network into small small domain due to the large number of node to get the fast convergence or due to the scalability issue of the igp or can be the case with the unified mpls where the a big network is divided into multiple smaller smaller igp domain and shipping is uh, done with the pgp lu okay so our goal is uh, we are looking for end to end optimal path if we send a traffic on the p1 to p2 or vice versa we need a optimal path so let's say to get the optimal path we have decided to use the med or as path not the attribute so let's say if we go with the med okay and uh, and we have choose the med on the base of this igp matrix let's say for this prefix 200.200.200.200 and we have advertised this prefix from this asbr 21 to asbr 11 with the med value 60 50 plus 10 60 on this path okay on the lower path we have advertised the med uh with the 35 25 plus 10 from this asbr 22 to asbr 12 so p1 will receive the prefix 200.200.200.200 from the two path one from the asbr 11 one from the asbr 12 on the asbr 11 it will receive the path with uh, med 60 and on the lower side from the AS, asbr 12 p1 receive the prefix 200.200.200.200 with the med value 35 because we have configured in the route policy we have done the configure on this asbr 21 and 22 while advertise this p2 loop back towards the asbr 11 and asbr 12 okay so p1 will run the bed selection path at by the bgp attribute and we select the lower med path bed So this path have an MBD 35. So this path will win, and P will send the traffic from the lower path. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is how we'll send the traffic. But if we uh, calculate the end-to-end -end IGP cost, this path is not optimal. Like here the matrix is 100, 100 plus 10, 110, 110 plus 10, 120, 120 plus 25 is the 145. While on the upper side, ten, twenty, thirty, and fifty, eighty. So, if we calculate, if we count end to end, add the end to end matrix. So, upper path is optimal path in compared to lower path because lower path have a higher IGP cost end to end. So, this is uh, so in this kind of scenario where the network is splitted or. Uh, Correct in the two different BGP ASs, this AIGP, this BGP new attribute, a commutated IGP matrix attribute BGP can be useful. How this attribute can helpful is, uh, we can instead of using the MAT or AS path, what we can do is, we can configure the AIGP on all of the EBGP peering and IGP peering. So we need to enable the AIGP attribute within the P2 to ASBR 21. And P2 ASBR 22 also, and 
once we enable on this ebgpp ring also here also and on this ibgpp ring p12 asbr also once we enable this aigp attribute so what uh, there the option uh, will configure the route policy on the route policy we can set the option like uh, igp course so this is the internal routing protocol course so let's suppose you have configured this so what this aspr 21 will do it will advertise this prefix with the metric 60 because the for this as2 from asbr 21 to p2 igp course is 60 so it will advertise this prefix with the aigp course is 60 okay and similar way on the lower side asbr 22 will advertise this 200 prefix 200 or 200 or 200 or prefix with the 35 aigp metric once asbr and asbr 11 asbr 12 receive this uh, route with the aigp matrix they will uh, advertise this to pe1 so what pe1 will do pe will calculate the end to end path pe1 will add this add the o1 igp next of course so he will add this like uh, here the aigp value from the asbr 21 to 11 was uh, 60 and it will add the this two two value also 60 plus 20 80 from the upper path he will get the for the to, to reach the 200 or 200 or 200 or 200 aigp total cost is 80 uh, while on the lower path 25 plus 10 35 35 plus 10 45 45 plus 100 is uh, 145 so after that p1 will end the path selection process and this will select the upper path this is this is uh, this is so this is how aigp can help uh, to get the end-to-end -end optimal path let's jump to the p1 node uh, to check first we'll check the current state uh, which path is best and what is the aigp automatic staking after that we will do the changes on this link and we'll check it again and in the second case we will make the any of the uh, on this link we can try uh, we'll change the metric and we'll again verify the state on the p1 and after that i will show the what is the config required on the ebgp neighborship or on the ibgp neighborship to uh, configure the aig let's jump to the node so here we are on the p1 let's check the route for the p2 loopback so pgp 200.200.200.32 we are running the two we are learning the two path from the two asbr asbr 11 and asbr 12 as we can see here to reach this next hop to reach this asbr metric is 60 and aigp metric which we are coming from the es2 is 70 and 60 plus 70 becoming the total aigp metric that is 130 and same way this is the lower path we learning from the asbr 12 to reach the asbr 12 from this p1 metric is 30 and this is the metric coming from the as2 which asbr 22 is advertising to asbr 12 and this again 120 plus 30 becoming the aigp metric 150 if we do the best compare here okay so this is telling the region higher aigp metric than the best path so path one have an igp metric lower than this path as compared to 150 so this is the region this path was selected best if we check the routing table also so route 200 or 200 or 200 so this will take the best path for from the asbr 11 and telling the route metric is 130 end to end from p1 to p2 is calculated end to end uh, both as metric okay let's do one thing let's do one thing now let's we have a show ifs neighbor so this so this p1 connected with the two provider p12 and p11 let's change the metric on the one of the link here show router iss okay router address course so 
so let me change the matrix to a p11 okay, so p11 interface is p12 matrix is let's do the 100 matrix here put it here okay. so, so we have changed the matrix on the interface pe11 and this p11 further is to the asbr11 in the bgp as1 okay, so let's run the game command so bgp so now you can see that correct earlier let me show the first earlier command which just came so this was the before doing the matrix changes total matrix for this ASBR 11 was the part which is going, to, going toward the ASBR 11 was the AIG matrix 130. And now, as you increase the 100 cores, so its total matrix becomes the 220. And now we say best also. Earlier, this was this ASBR was the best, and now lower ASBR got the selected as the best. So earlier you can see in the also so this 11 was the best here okay. so this metric we have changed in the as one okay so let's roll back this same roll back config last one let's see first show configuration changes change this last one so we have increased the matrix. Let me roll back. That's one application, last one. So let's again check. Okay. This is not updated. Now it will take some time. Okay. Now step the effect. Now total IGP will come down to 130. And this 11 and become the best. So let's do the changes on the AS2 on any other router. So this is our node from the AS2. Let's do the changing on the one of the link. We are going to change the matrix on the interface it is with the P2 and the AS2. Okay, let me do ISS metric here. 1000 picture. Let's jump to the P1 to verify the state. So here we are on the P1 again, and this path got updated now. This is the time just got updated, and we can see that. We have made the metric of the 1000 from ASBR to PE2, and this is the IGB metric we are getting now 1020, and total IGB will become the this is here. Total IGB metric become the 180, and it's selecting now the best path is lower ASBR. Let's jump to the ASBR to show you the configuration where the configuration require on the EBGP and IBGP link to configure the AIGP. So here we are on the ASBR. 21. So let me quickly show you the configuration. Show run browser. EBGP. So on the EBGP peering under the neighbors, uh, we need to put this command AAGP send med and route policy for the out. We need to configure. I give the med name. You can use any name. And the med in the route policy, we are setting the AGP metric to IGP cost and for the IBGP neighbors we need to only put this command and AIGP send me this these are the two commands I have configured after that it's worth it. Thank you.